Welcome to Integration Objects Introduction to SIOT, the Smart IoT Highway, which will shortly be followed by a demo of the IT OT integration platform. The Smart IoT Highway is a scalable and modular IoT platform for IT OT integration, data exchange, and transformation. SIOT establishes secure end to end pipelines in order to collect and store data from edge and IoT devices. SIOT the Smart IoT Highway enables the transformation of industrial data into actionable intelligence. As an ITOT data exchange platform, it features built-in cybersecurity, flexible data modeling, a real-time historian and a rule engine for the purpose of orchestration and synchronization. The idea behind the Smart IoT Highway was to design a system that businesses of all sizes could use to facilitate the configuration and deployment of their ITOT convergence while meeting all of the industrial cybersecurity requirements. Hence the following architecture. Industries typically have four levels within their network, with some even reaching five levels considering the cloud. To ensure our platform responds to the security concerns found in almost all industries, the Smart IoT Highway is deployed within the DMZ and allows the file network and other levels of the network to publish data within the DMZ. Only those with assigned access can subscribe to certain datasets, a simple idea that offers maximum protection while stepping into the next paradigm of industrial connectivity. We invite you to watch how easily a nexus between IT and OT can be created in the demo which will begin momentarily. Double-click on the SIOT Web UI shortcut available on the desktop. This will give you access to the platform configuration web portal. You will be prompted to enter the username and the password to confirm access. This is the SIOT home page. Application configuration is to configure data flows, rules and workflows. UHMI Designer is to configure dashboards and SCADA graphics. UHMI Runtime is to access the configured dashboards and SCADA graphics on runtime mode. Click on the Application Configuration shortcut. We will be redirected to the starting page. Here we can add SIOT nodes, devices as data sources and destination, configure data model and projects. A summary of the current configuration is displayed at the bottom. In this demo, we will configure data flows to read data from OPCDA, Modbus and DNP sources and transfer them to SIOT OPC UA server. We will also transfer the DNP data to SIOT MQTT broker. In the SIOT left side menu, we have nodes where SIOT components are deployed. By default, we have the SIOT master node. This is a typically deployed on the DMZ level. Devices are generally data sources or data destinations. We already configured four devices. 1. We open the Modbus device configuration. Here we enter the IP address of the Modbus slave and the port. We can also configure the swapping modes. 2. OPCDA server device where we configure the IP address and the PROG ID of the OPCDA server. 3. Now, we will see the MQTT device configuration. It's a standard MQTT. SIOT supports also Sparkplug. Here we configure the MQTT broker host name and port. We can also configure the MQTT security using TLS, SSL certificates or user authentication. 4. We finish by DNP device where we configure the IP address and the port number. Now we have all of the data sources and destinations we need for our demo. Let's go to the project configuration where we will configure the data flows. Click on projects from the left side menu. Then click on new, enter a project name and click on save. Click on data flows to start the configuration. Click on new, a default name is displayed then click on save. The left side toolbox includes the different connectors available in the platform. To configure a data flow, you will need at least one source connector, publisher, and one destination connector, subscriber. From the toolbox, drag the OPCDA block and drop it in the workspace. Click the settings icon. Select the node where the connector will be hosted. Select the OPCDA device. Then, click on next. Click on add subscription. We can keep the update rate to 1 second and then click on import tags to specify the tags that we will read from the OPCDA server. Here is the list of OPCDA tags added automatically using the CSV template. We move to Modbus connector. 
from the toolbox, drag the Modbus block and drop it in the workspace. Then, click the settings icon. Select the node, and then click on next. Select the Modbus device and add the subscription as we did in the OPCDA connector. Click the Confirm Configuration button and save the configuration. We finish the source connectors by configuring the DNP connector. Select the node. Add the subscription. Select the device and import the tags list and then save the configuration. Now, we will configure the destination's connectors. We start by SIOT OPC UA server. Drag the OPC UA server block from the toolbox and drop it in the workspace. Then, link the configured source connectors to its input port. Click the settings icon, select the node and then click on tags configuration. You will notice that all of the configured tags are added automatically to the SIOT OPC UA server. We can also enable historical data for the OPC UA tags. We will now configure the second data flow by adding the MQTT destination. Drag the MQTT client and drop it in the workspace. Open the configuration interface. Select the node. Specify this connector as destination. Select the device and then click on next. Select DNP from the source drop-down list then enter an MQTT topic. Move to the fields mapping and then click the save button. Click on Save and Deploy Data Flow. Then, click the Start button. The connector's status will be updated from starting to started. Now, all the connectors are started successfully. We can check that the data are transferred to the SIOT OPC UA server. To do that, we will use a test OPC UA client. Connect using the SIOT OPC UA server endpoint. We can copy it directly from the connector then paste it in this field. Once connected, we can browse DNP tags, Modbus tags and OPCDA tags. Drag and drop some tags to display their values in real time. We can compare the values received on the SIOT OPC UA server with the ones from the source OPCDA server. Using OPCDA Explorer, a test OPC client, we can see that the values displayed in the OPC UA client are the same. We move to the history view. We select one tag from the tags for which we enabled the historical option for example steam quantity. Select raw, specify the start and the end times. Then, click OK. We can view the historical values for the selected tag and during the selected period. Similarly, we can also view processed data from the SIOT OPC UA server. Let's check that the DNP tags are also published to the SIOT MQTT broker. To do so, we will use the MQTT FX client. Connect to the SIOT MQTT broker and then subscribe to the topic configured previously in the MQTT connector. As you can see a new message is published to the MQTT broker on the DNP tags topic every 5 seconds. As shown in the demo, SIOT the Smart IoT Highway can be configured in a matter of minutes. A multi-protocol translator enabling asset monitoring through a unified control hub. With high availability and infinite scalability, your systems can transcend and scale effortlessly, all while conforming to industrial cybersecurity standards. We hope you enjoyed watching the Smart IoT Highway demo brought to you by Integration Objects, your partners in excellence.